TI Inspire Cast CX cheat. How to solve an equation. This is really, really easy. I just did another video for uh, for this Algebra 1 completing the square thing, and I thought, man, the truth of it is, the truth of it is, this is what I would do. So let's go to the calculator part, and let's drop this thing in. So calculator. So you're at your calculator section, and all you're going to do is this. You're going to just type in the word solve. S O L V. Stop for a second. Take a look. See how this thing is in italics right now? This is a great uh, thing to know about your calculator. If your calculator recognizes something that you're giving it as a function, as a capability that it has, it will turn its italics into standard print. So as I type the E, I'm going to look down and say, yes, the calculator recognizes what I'm asking it to do. And what I had for uh, these students is I had a quadratic that was x squared. Whoops, shite me. Plus 2x, 2x plus 11. And they had it set equal to 200. And I did the work and I was like, I wonder if I got that right. And I thought to myself, I should do a really quick video on how to cheat. So, look, this is not cheating. You're, you know you're allowed to use this on the SAT. You're allowed to use this on AP Cal exam. You're not allowed to use this particular one on the ACTs. But it's, a, it's, it's not a cheat if you're allowed to use it. What smart people do is they get the most out of what they have. So here's us getting the most out of what we have here. So all I did was I typed this in solve. Bang. Holy crap. Control. Was that really the question, dude? Because if it was a question, I got it wrong. Oh, it was 20. It was 20. Okay, I got all freaked out. All right. <laughs> That's all right. I made a mistake, but look how much time I'm going to save because I can just roll through it again. Let's do one more example, and this time I'll do it the right way. I'm going to do the solve function again. So solve, open it up. Make sure you use your parentheses to open. Otherwise, it, look what happened. If you don't do that, if you type in solve, and then you type like put a space. Let's see what happened. You put a space. See, nothing is going to happen here. This is not going to go well. So let's go back. Make sure you open your parentheses. I'm going to have x squared plus 20x. It wasn't 2x. It was 20x plus 11. And they had it set equal to 200. So equals 200. This is important. This little comma here means in terms of, in terms of what? Because the calculator can do a lot of cool stuff, but if they're really stupid. They cannot interpret anything at all. So if you're not very, very exact with your question it can't answer it so i want this thing solved in terms of x and i'm going to hit enter here and yes charlie got the answer right and i thought i was going to go back and make that whole video again that was going to suck okay so two examples this is really cool stuff you should really be exploring i think i've made i don't know a hundred videos on this calculator alone this calculator is a beast oh uh the new operating system 3.2 is coming out and it is a beast. It's going to do stuff that it's the best upgrade they've ever done. Uh, and I think that they've been making a cast since 2007. If I'm right, I was out in, in Dallas for that. It was really great. So um, make sure you upgrade. Yeah, the upgrade will be June, I think June 12th, 2012. So if you're past that date, if you're at or past that date, you should be upgrading your calculator. All right, you guys. Oh, and to, up, to update, uh, education.ti.com and the upgrade is free just hook it up to your usb and it will do the automatic upgrade for you all right all right you guys thanks for watching please if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and uh your comments are great so thank you